meteorologist Matt Yurisavik joining us here. And Matt, we're really going to kind of dig into what we expect for the winter, this kind of longer range outlook. And of course, it's early, but oh, maybe yeah. we have some indications here. Yeah, it's an early look at our winter outlook because, yeah, we've still got a few months till we head into winter. But we have early indications that we could be dealing with another La Nina pattern. So we're going to dive into that. And we want to start you out by taking a look at those current water temperatures. Now, this is the water temperatures from the East Pacific. And when we look at that, that would be our indicator for a La Nina or an El Nino, those current patterns which really impact our winter uh, really uh, patterns across the United States. So if you look at this as we head back into uh, 2021 and now into 2022, this is the latest trend here, this darker line showing you that water temperatures below that La Nina threshold and actually getting a little bit cooler, which means that we could be looking at a La Nina pattern setting up as we head deeper into the winter months. So this is the typical La Nina pattern here. We've got those cooler waters here in the East Pacific, uh, really Central and South America, and that flow coming back to the West. And when we move that to the West, take a look at this. Some warmer water here over towards Australia, up towards the Hawaiian Islands, and this is going to set up that kind of pattern farther to the north where we're going to be looking at kind of a split between the polar jet stream to the north and the Pacific jet stream to the south. And normally here what we'll have is a blocking high just to the south of Alaska. And what that's going to do is push the polar jet stream, the colder air, farther to the north. And then it's going to keep the warm, moist air of that Pacific jet stream farther to the south, coming out of where that warmer water is. And they both kind of come right into the Pacific Northwest. And as they do, we will start to see colder air to the north, drier air to the south. So this would be the typical setup where we've got some snow or some rain and snow here, depending on temperatures in parts of the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and back into the northeast and the upper Midwest. Colder temperatures to the north of that jet stream where we'll be looking at more precipitation here, rain and snow in the higher elevations, especially back in the Pacific Northwest. But south of there, it's where it could be drier and warmer as well, warmer than average. So here's a look at that early winter temperature forecast. December through February, cooler temperatures up across the northern tier, Pacific Northwest and upper Midwest, warmer back in the southwest along the Gulf Coast and up the eastern seaboard. And then there's that temperature forecast or the winter precipitation forecast above normal in the Pacific Northwest and right here where we're expecting some of that Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, Northeast and then below normal down to the south. So that's something we'll continue to keep an eye on and we'll take a look at this as we get a little bit closer to the winter and we'll continue to track that right here on Ag Day. That's a look around the country. Now let's take a look at the weather where you live.